Hello, welcome. Today let's try to solve another little code problem. 1334. Find the city with the smallest number of neighbors at a threshold distance. Yeah, let's check it. So we are giving example. Let's check this example one. So we have a distance threshold is four. What we need to return? We need to return the city with the smallest number of cities. So for example, that are reachable through some paths. Yeah. So for example, city one can reach city one, city zero can reach one to two, city one can reach zero, two and three, city two can reach zero, one to three, city three can reach one to two. But we need to return the smallest number of cities. So for city zero and city three, it is the smallest reachable cities because it is a two. But for city one to two, it is a three. But we also need to check. Yeah. And whose distance is at most? It should be less than and equal to distance threshold. If there are multiple such cities, we need to return the city with the greatest number. So for example, this is city 0 and city 3, but we need to return city 3 because 3 is the greatest number. Yeah, because it is not 3. So for such problem, we're going to use the shortest path to solve the problem because we have a distance threshold and we're going to check how many possible yeah, how, how many possible routes, how many possible paths. For example, from 0, we need to check the shortest path from 0 to 1, 0 to 2, 0 to 3. Yeah. If it is less than the threshold, we're going to count it by 1. Yeah, because it, it is not from the source to destination, we're going to not use the largest trust algorithm. Of course, we can use it, but it will take some more time. I believe the best way is to use a Floyd algorithm. Basically, we're going to just prepare, prepare a matrix as a graph. And then we're going to use the graph, for example, graph ij means the distance from i to j. i and j, j are just nodes. Yeah, now let's just start coding. So, because the number of nodes is n, so I'm going to use a, a matrix to represent the graph because I'm going to use the Floyd algorithm to solve it. So if times n for, yeah, so this is the number column. Let's check for r in width, check number of rows. Yeah. Now for the Floyd algorithm, we're going to prepare, yeah, the edges. So for u, v, and w. In edges, we're going to prepare, connect the u to v. So g u v should be equal to w and uh, g v u because it is uh, bidirectionally connected. So it should also be equal to w. Now we're going to prepare the diagonal. Yeah. So for, yeah, let me just use uh, r. For i in uh, just use i. So for i in root n, yeah, the diagonal should always be zero. This means from not zero to zero, the distance is still zero. So for g i i should equal to zero. Now we're gonna connect all the yeah. Now we're gonna calculate all the sorted paths from any node. For example, not zero to not one to a three. Yeah. So for i in raise n, uh, yeah, first use uh, m. Uh, yeah, I can also use uh, k or m. It is uh, okay. So yeah, for first I'm gonna use m, and then I'm gonna use i and c. So for i in raise n, for z in raise n. Now I can calculate the distance. So the distance is. Uh, basically g i with j, and this m is just a midpoint to connect to this i and z. So for j i to j, basically it is from i to m and m to j. So it's going to be the minimum of j i j and j i to m plus j m to j. Now we get the distance. So currently we got a graph of j. J is the, yeah, the distance, the shortest path graph. Normally we know everything about it. 
and this takes uh, the time of uh, on cubic and n is 100. This is why we can pass, yeah, because uh, 1 times 10 to the power of 6 is not a big number. Now we can calculate the result, yeah. If the template is right, we can calculate the result and answers. So for the result, I will set the result as the node. From the beginning, I will set it as a 0. And for the answer, I will give an infinite, because this answer will always compare with how many codes. So from the beginning, I'm going to give an infinite. You will understand why later, yeah, while I'm writing the code. Now I am just needed to loop through the matrix. So for R in range R, for C in range uh, it, it, it is not C, it is uh, the number of nodes. Yeah, it is a. Uh. And here I'm gonna prepare a count because I'm gonna count how many, yeah, how many cities, for example, from zero. Yeah, uh, it is a reachable, for example, from zero can reach the city one and two. I'm gonna count from zero to city one and two. Yeah. So from the beginning, the count would be zero. Now I'm going to check it. So if uh, the distance of G with R and C less than and equal to the distance threshold, I believe it is the distance threshold. So the count would be plus equal to one. Now I'm going to check this count. Yeah. So if uh, my current count is less than or equal to the answer. So this is why I, I prepare another variable answer. It is infinite. If it is a code, it's less than or equal to the previous uh, yeah, maximum value. It means I, I have a result. So my code, my answer would be updated to code. And uh, my result would be equal to this R because I'm going to check from the not R to or other not say. So for example, from zero to one, two, and three, I'm going to count how many of them. Yeah. And finally, I just need to return the result. The result is for the not. Yeah. So basically this is the idea idea. Because yeah, here we, we should always use this equal because it should be less than or equal to the distance threshold. Here we also need to use equal because if it is still equal, for example, city one, it has two cities, city three, it also can reach two cities, but we're gonna return this is city three. And for this R, it is just starting from zero to three. Yeah, this is basically the entire code. As you can see, it is not so difficult. Everything is just a template. Yeah. Now let me run it to check if it works. Uh, for R in range, uh, I need to use in range. Yeah, as you can see, it works. Now let me submit it to Chuck if it can pass all the testing cases. Yeah, as you can see, it works and it's pretty fast. And the time complexity is just in this area. It's for preparing of the distance graph. So it is just O n cubic. And this is a very basic template, uh, yeah, uh, Floyd, uh, Floyd template uh, question. Yeah, I think uh, we should understand this one and try to practice others because basically the graph is easy to understand and easy to do.